the, the message to Republicans seems to be rally your base. Maybe now's the time you try rallying the other guy's base, because for all Republicans in Rhodes, they're still pretty much stuck in park when it comes to wooing black voters. No group remains as overwhelmingly loyal to Democrats and overwhelmingly averse to Republicans as African-Americans. Republicans might be looking at their midterm chances of even taking the Senate, building on the majority in the House and say, well, who really cares? We're going to win anyway. Maybe in a couple of weeks, but no less than Rand Paul is worried, maybe not in a couple of years. The Kentucky senator and presumed presidential candidate says that the grand old party has to start making more than grand old gestures to the African-American community. For his part, Paul is convinced that he could get 30 percent of the black vote. Keep in mind, Mitt Romney got about 5 percent of that vote. Senator Paul says the key will be offering an inspiring case for unfettered capitalism versus constantly frittering government, not by pandering to African-Americans, but simply talking to African-Americans. He points to a war on poverty that has failed and trillions of dollars spent that has been essentially wasted. He is right on many aspects, but no less than the niece of Martin Luther King Jr. warns if he is pitching numbers, this latest Republican outreach will fail, as so many others have as well. And maybe longer term, so will the chances of advancing onto the White House. Dr. Alveda King says Republicans free. All right, shake up or get broken up. New York Fed President Bill Dudley telling bankers that their bad behavior could drive the government to simply break up their banks, or at least cut them down to size. So the guy who always has the scoop, in fact, has been writing about this for years, saying it's going to be a quandary we're going to have to address. Charlie Gasparino. And we got the Fox Biz All Stars, Mark Serrano here. We got Jonathan Honig here, Tracy Blaines. All right, Charlie, to you first. You, this is the age old saw. All right. Uh, we've got to cut them down to size or we'll be facing some more troubles. Um, I just think these are too big to regulate. I would say this. There is a free market way to address this thing, other than from government fiat by just saying you got to do this. Uh, you got to break up or else. Uh, and, it's, you know, all these banks have deposit insurance. And we're talking about J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. What we could do is simply say this. If you want an integrated bank where you have risk taking from your securities firm with your with your insured deposits we're not going to insure your deposits we're not going to base the we're not going to lay the government on the line the taxpayer on the line for you taking risk in the securities markets and that's one way of doing it never this, happened it, well never you know happened. It, it won't Grace happen you, you know what it won't happen until we have the next crisis but why does it have to happen i mean the banks have done everything they've been asked to do their tier 1 capital uh, ratios back up they're doing what they're supposed too big? to but but Listen, but they need to be. I mean, you Fed, could argue the they need came, to be the big, Fed too. The Fed just came out with a report, right, that said that, uh, no, the GAO came out with a report that the Fed screwed up, could not, could not find the London Whale trading loss of J.P. Morgan. Uh, that's a $7 billion loss that went under the nose of, of a gazillion regulators. Um, these things are too big to regulate. It's going to happen again. Do you think they are, Mark? Do you think they're too big? Well, what they're talking about is strong arm law enforcement. This story comes from a meeting the Fed had with the large bank executives. The other guy in the room was the Manhattan district attorney. He's the guy in the back of the room holding the bat. And basically, the Fed is saying to them, you're too big, and if you don't straighten up, we're going to use measures to get to you. Charlie's talking about using the law as it stands or using Congress to make laws more enforceable. Terrific. But right now, they're talking about breaking up these banks, and I think it's another example of strong-arming, just like when uh, the Treasury Department talked about tax inversions. What did they do? do they you just realize threatened that, action. Do you realize that the American taxpayer is on the hook if these things screw up again? We are on right, the so let's hook. Use the, let's well, Charlie, the, why don't we... Well, well, Charlie, why don't we follow your lead off there and you know interject a little bit of the free market into the I banking agree. system? Yeah. To your point, you cannot open a bank without offering FDIC insurance right now. Right. The banks were really victims in the whole economic collapse. Well, we all no, were, Neil. They, and I'll tell you, the real problems here, the Fed and Franny, the 10 banking no, regulators you're referencing, those here, have Jonathan, only gotten bigger. Jonathan, let's be clear here. I, as much as I love Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase, he loves the fact that the Fed or that the FDIC insures his deposits because that low lowers his cost of capital, allows him to borrow more cheaply in the market. So I'm just saying this. Well, he doesn't it, love the fines. Well, I, I, he doesn't. But, but, you know, he still makes $20 billion a yeah, year. I'm going to say this. These banks make a lot of money. They're really big. 
we, as the American taxpayer, are on the hook if they go under. Because guess what? J.P. Morgan doesn't so keep the So get rid of the hook, Charlie. So get rid of the hook. That's the whole point. You're talking about more regulation, get rid of the more what? control. Get rid of the, get rid of the, the hook. hook. If what is the hook? The hook. What is the, the hook? You say we're on the hook. Well, so the get hook rid of that hook. Free insurance. Americans. That, that is well, my so point. Get rid of it. Do not You're allow... advocating for more regulation. No, no, you're, you're advocating you're, you're for more control. Jonathan, you're misrepresenting what I'm saying. What well, make I'm it clear. Saying, now, now, open your, open your, uh, your, your earpiece. Uh, I, I'm serious because I made this point a thousand times. The, 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 the FDIC insures deposits. That puts the American taxpayer on the hook if the security side gambles and loses. Stop insuring deposits of integrated banks. We will not have Tracy, big what banks. Do you think of that? When, when is the Fed crossing the line into the culture of the bank as opposed to the actual capital assets? They should, be, uh, they should have say over capital assets. I get that. But what they're saying here is the culture of the so banks is improper. I, I think the Fed is overstepping its It's a pure it. threat. It's a pure threat. They're yeah. threatening action. They're not actually using the laws and applying them, as Charlie is suggesting. I think Charlie's being reasonable on this. We just spent, they're not reasonable. We just spent a trillion dollars on bailing these jerks out. Now, you could make the point we shouldn't have bailed e every, them out. Okay, just, just pipe single, down once. Let me just make this point. A, we, we spent trillions of dollars bailing these guys out. It hurt the American economy. The reason why we bailed them out, because we had to bail them out. They're so big that, the, right. that the, the economy would Johnny, have to Johnny, final word of that? Still. Well, well, every enterprise that was bailed out, Neil, was highly regulated. So, you know, more regulation begets more regulation. I think Char we should follow Charlie's advice. Start freeing up the banking system. More regulations only exacerbate future issues. They don't solve them. I don't know any idea what position you guys have because it sounds like you did 180. Well, break them up. I didn't, I didn't do 180. Up. Break them up, break, make them smaller, yeah, and then regulate them. Yeah, no, that's then it. you're saying bring back Glass Steagall. But the yes. regulator's saying they're too big to regulate, yeah. and is you have to accommodate the market solution, Charlie. <laughs> All right.